G'day, my name is Bo Thomas. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get some dynamics between verses and choruses with your hi-hats. What are dynamics, Bo? Dynamics. Ah. <laughs> Softs and louds. Ah, I see. And, and, and the in-betweens kind of thing. Having, yeah, having an extra dimension to your music that will, will really give it more special stuff. So it's like the ups and downs of the seas of music. <laughs> Something like that. You didn't like my metaphor. So, Alright, show us how it's done, bro. So basically, yeah, um, with, with a straight eight, playing in a verse, you want to keep it pretty contained, pretty tight, usually, generally speaking. So, um, yeah, playing along in a verse. That's cool. And when you get to the chorus, you really want to build it up a bit more. So... Yeah, it's, it's just the difference between yeah, playing a bit louder and on your, your kick and snare, but also using your hi-hat, you can, you can use it so, so effectively to, to change dynamics within songs. So in the verses, what what drummers usually do is yeah play with closed hats, and um, some people if if you want a really quiet hat sound just play with a tip, or if you're doing tricky patterns like faster stuff like doubles. You wanna you wanna play with your hats closed most of the time. Then when you get to the chorus, play with the shoulder of the stick to get a beefier, sort of chunkier sound and play like slightly open to all the way if you like. <laughs> Depending on the song. But yeah, if you think about incorporate, incorporating those, those techniques and dynamics into your playing, you'll really, really start supporting the song better. So, have fun with those techniques and I'll see you later.